for me, the, the biggest thing, you know, with Fields, um, you know, like it's kind of alarming. It's just the fact that his fantasy points per drop back were 0. 0.42, right? Typically, if you've got a running quarterback, it's almost always over a 0.5. And a lot of times you'll see, like, for example, Jalen Hurts last year was a 0.63. Um, you look at Josh Allen, obviously an elite player, 0. 0.58. But like if we go back to Tim Tebow, he was like a 0. 0.6. You know, and we know Tebow couldn't even throw a ball. So that's the one big concerning thing for me with Field. Um, and, you know, last year we did see in a few games, you know, where Fields was actually out there. You know, if you look at week eight, he finishes the QB four. Week nine, finishes the QB nine. Got hurt and knocked out of week 11. Um, finishes the QB 29 that week, but then he missed week 12 and 13. Came back weeks 14 and 15. Um, finished as the QB eight and as the QB 12. So he's clearly demonstrated, you know, that, you know, once you can kind of get rolling, he has an upside to be in the top 12 quarterbacks each week because of his rushing ability. Um, we just never fully saw that unleashed, you know, consistently over, over last season for multiple reasons.